Hello, welcome back. This is Grillenheimer. Boy, my hair is disheveled. Um, but I know, I know. Um, I know that uh, I'm long due for an actual gameplay, uh, uh, and I need to do that. And I and I appreciate the the suggestion because I miss playing the game, but. I'm getting to an end point here. I'm getting to a goal uh, where, you know, it's probably could be refined, but I'm pretty much done with Unicron and the, I call, originally they were like possessed by Unicron, possessed Cyclonus, and I went from possessed to controlled. Uh, and I, you know, revealed those characters. We've done, uh, some other characters as well. The Beast War stuff. Oh, golly, I still have the video in my phone where I reveal Transmetal 2, Dinobot, and Silverhawk. Silverhawk. Tigerhawk. Um, and maybe I'll get that out before I do get this one out, uh, which I've got to do. In the meantime, for this video, I'm going to go over the last of my Quintessons and correcting the previous ones. Because, sorry, the whole world has gone sideways. There we go. Um, because after testing my Quintessons, and that's Alicons and Sharpticons, basically. And somebody was like, well, you can't do that. So it's already kind of gave them the Quintesson trait. They're already Quintessons. I didn't know that. I don't, I don't keep up. There's so much stuff of other people doing certain things, especially on the Facebook custom page, which has been a little silent lately. Um, that... You know, a lot of our stuff is probably going to be very similar because we all have similar passion for this and trying to keep in with not just the personality of the characters, character types, but as well as how they would fit in the game. And I think we're all very close to doing similar ideas and implementing them all simultaneously, which sounds like we're all about on the same page. Um, but with that... Let, let's go over these Alicons and Sharkicons just one more time uh, with corrections because I think these make them a lot better because uh, originally just the Alicons alone, the Alicons are the four star, uh, the four star creatures or alligator cons or whatever. And then the Sharkicons are three stars. And if, when I looked at, and when I, you put them all together, the health that the in the issue I had was the amount of health they had. Uh, I still had four stars left, and it gave a total of forty-two health uh, for six, seven, and eight for Alicons, and then I think the Sharkticons were like about the same. Uh, so that's like twelve plus fourteen plus sixteen. That was just too much health. And I was using my characters and just mentally going, okay, let's just make them all five health, see what happens. And it seemed to be a lot e more even. Um, so what instead, instead of making them all five, considering the, the, dif the difference in, in the star account or star costs that I made them originally, the Sharkticons, Sharkticon... And I made th a couple of things a little more even across the board. Sharkticons in their bot modes. Let me just... Okay, all Sharkticons in their bot modes have the same stat. Two attack, five health, and one to defense. Uh, all three Sharkticons in their alt modes are all the same. Attack of three, health of four. Five, of course, and zero defense. Uh, zero, zero, zero. Okay, so it's attack of two, defense of one in bot mode. In alt mode, it's attack of three, defense of zero. Uh, and they're health of five straight across the board. Uh, I 
kept everything pretty much the same except maybe judgment a change to their judgment since they only have five health now instead of like six seven or eight that uh judgment still have they have still have different judgment triggers but for them i changed how judgment is triggered when this takes three or more damage and remains in the battlefield so if they if if you if they're only get like uh, attacked by three or damaged by three or four they still have a little bit of health left um, and if that happens to happen then you can scrap a card from an opponent's hand with shark to con three um or damage one to an enemy uh with shark to con two which sounds like a revenge but it's not because they're well revenge would be like getting ko'd but even they said that's was just the general trigger it can be anything really but it's kind of like a revenge for the shark to cons and then uh, shark to con one you know get to draw a card so basically they're getting more than half of their damage uh being uh, being attacked on the defense and it allows you to do something um and so that those are the three shark decons let's go back to the alicons who are all four stars now they are all six health equally each of them has six health so their health total is 18 the shark cons total is 15 together is 31 you would have four stars left over if you happen to want to play them in this way um of course you did you don't have to you can mix them up it's like okay well i like this judgment better over this one no i want the uh the pierce instead of the bold uh or, or well they all have pierce in alt modes uh, you know looking at their bot modes well i like this better uh etc cetera, etc cetera. um uh, that, that's right okay so In the Alicons, I made the exact same way with their stats. Uh, in bot mode, yeah, exact same way. Uh, in bot mode, they're attack of two, defense of one. Every single one of them. Uh, in alt mode, they're all attack of three, defense of zero. Uh, in health of six across the board uh, so and, and they basically can do different things when they're in alt mode when they attack um, you're not playing around with them the alicon one you might want to try to have that one try to go first or early in the game because when that one attacks you can damage one to an untapped enemy if there's if your enemy doesn't have anybody untapped then that doesn't work uh etc etc um you know alicon three is just like alicon one where's alicon two? Oh, they're all the same i made them all the same so you're okay okay um come on okay they're different in bot modes when they attack they also have triggers when this attacks uh, alicon one you can scrap an enemy upgrade uh, alicon two when this attacks scrap a card from your opponent's hand so that they can do that Al alicon three your opponent scraps the top two cards off their deck uh, when alicon three attacks so there's the differences wow nine minutes looky there uh, so let's move on to the ones I haven't gone over, and those are the three execute. Well, the two executioners, and there's an executioner card that I also uh, battle card I created called Gatekeeper, and then there's the prosecutor. I don't think I've got. I know I've recorded this, and I didn't like it, and so this is a whole new video um, explaining the the last of my quintessons. Have it that I make. A five-headed Quintesson as a character card? No, I think I like. I think they work better as action cards. Um, it 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 just seems to work uh, because they're the ones calling the shots. 
Uh, of course, in the in the movie, they seemed really dark and evil, mysterious. By season three, they still had that feel to them, but they they were more of a joke character. I mean, the, a lot of them were just taking them by their tentacles and just throwing them around and dragging them around. I mean, it was almost the the butt of all the jokes, you know. Us and and the the, and the Autobots were like. These guys created us, really? We were their slaves. We, you know, how could we forget something like that? Um, I, I guess their memory chips just go went bad, kind of like ours do. I don't know. <laughs> you, you think thing, things that make you go say what? So uh, let's look at the executioners. Let's see what I did here. They're both four star characters, so you could. Fill in that gap with the last four stars with an executioner. Uh, their stats are slightly different. Maybe I should make them both the same. Uh, and these characters cannot flip. They're the ones that can that pull the handle um, to open the pit into the shark decons. Um, if you remember the movie, uh, the. And they're both pretty comparable. It's not that big of a difference. Executioner, I just put, I, I was going to put A and B, but I just left one just Executioner. And he has one to attack, six health, zero defense. Um, but if you tap him, use his tap ability, damage one to an untapped enemy. Um, and he, you can equip upgrades on these guys. That's not a problem. Uh, again, this can't flip, so there is no other side. Same with Executioner B, uh, which I uh, just sort of slightly changed the color on it, flipped it around, so you have like two Executioners side by side. If you want to do that, damage uh, two to an untapped enemy for Executioner B. His attack goes up by one, but his health comes down by one to five. Uh, they both have zero defense, so they're going to go down both pretty quickly. Um, so there's that. Now, should I change the, the star count for Executioner B uh, from four to five since, I, I don't know. He has, he has the least health, but he can do two damage to a tapped enemy. Uh, that's what it is. This can't flip. Uh, now the gatekeeper card is its action card, which is a blank blank pip. There's no pips on there. Um, okay, I was just checking my time real quick. Uh, it's a blank pip card. It is a Quintus on card. So you got the nice uh, ugly green skull down there. Executioners do one more damage when you use their tap ability. Uh, I thought that was a neat way to do this. So. I mean, daggum, we have five judge cards, five times three each, that's 15. You include the gatekeeper cards, that's 18. That's half your, nearly half your deck right there if you chose to play this way. Um, add in a couple of brainstorms and, and fill the, the last half of your deck with some, with some up, interesting upgrades. They might go down pretty quick, but you're going to be very uh, like six or seven wide. Um, and it could be a very interesting and fun game. Um, so if you're going for health, you'd want Executioner A. If you're going for uh, a little more damage, you'd want to go with Executioner B. Um, if you wanted... The, all three Alicons, all three Shark Decons, and one Executioner. Well, let's move on and let's look at the Prosecutor. The Prosecutor is an eight-star character. Um, he, I gave him the tentacle. Uh, now, okay, uh, one thing about the, the about the Prosecutor. I gave him an alt mode and a bot mode. They look exactly the same. It's just his bot mode is him turning his head to, t to talk to the judge. Uh, that's it. So when you flip him, he's just turning his head. Uh, really. 
just to be able to give him a flip ability like most of the others, except the executioners. So he's got a tentacle trait, a quintesson trait, and the specialist trait. Um, and with an eight star character, now this character is almost like a regular character of the game. It's, it's not like all these uh, four and five star Alicons and Sharpticons. He's got an attack of three with health of 13 and a defense of two. Uh, I'm all over the place. I don't know where I'm going to put my card, my, my cards for y'all. Uh, so that's in his alt mode. When in this mode, give each Quintesson bold one until end of turn. Uh, so, yeah, there's a reason why I wanted to give these guys the Quintesson trait. Um, I, I guess I could take it off since they all are still qu the Quintesson faction. I don't know, but uh, I just like having the traits, especially if I want to come back and make upgrade an upgrade or two for him or something. You know, maybe, maybe not. But uh, so he's gonna when he's in in starting mode, they all have bold one. If you want to go with all quintessons in his bot mode, um, oh, gosh. I don't know what side of the political spectrum you're on, but I just call the guy Marcus, uh, BCP, Black Conservative Patriot, because he looks like a Marcus, but he's always, you know, it's just kind of funny. You got to watch the guy if, if 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 you're if you agree with my political views. But anyway, uh, also tentacle, quintesson, and specialist. That really doesn't change. When you flip to this mode, you may tap an executioner. Um, so I thought, okay, let's make these guys really interchangeable. So not only can you tap an executioner for your tap phase, but now you can, if you have two executioners, which are four stars, so that's eight. And this guy is eight, that's 16. You have a few stars left for an, uh, some Alicons and Sharktacons if you want, but not, uh, you can tap an executioner for turn, if you flip your prosecutor, you can tap the other one without giving up uh, your your tap a bit phase for a turn. So I thought that was neat. Might be a little strong. I don't know, but at the same time, when they're tapped, these guys are vulnerable. Okay, um, they have a good uh, all a little bit of pierce, all a little bit of. Um, a little bit of attack, very little attack, but everything adds up in this game. Um, oh, I got to go, guys. But so those are my updated and the last of my Quintessons. Thanks for watching. More to come. Hopefully some gameplay up next as well. As always, stay healthy, stay safe. Have a blessed day. We'll see you next time. Autobots, flip out, and let's roll for it.